Les Lakers, les élèves à Dodo, ne se soyez pas battus. She speaks French. She plays the xylophone. And she definitely plays to the beat of a different drummer. Kari Roll is no ordinary student at Robbinsdale Cooper High School in New Hope, Minnesota. Not only is she an excellent student and musician, but she battles a rare genetic bone disorder called osteogenesis imperfecta. It's called OI for short. Her body produces less than half of the type 1 collagen it needs. I break bones more easily than most people. Um, I've broken somewhere around 35, we've kind of lost track. Kari speaks about her illness like it's no big deal. But talk to her parents and you hear about some challenging early years. Her problems began at birth, when she was born with breathing problems. They put her in neonatal ICU because of that, because she couldn't breathe well. The Roll family is grateful Kari's doctors were able to figure out the OI diagnosis. The Osteogenesis Foundation says it takes some patients years to figure out they have the disorder. It's so rare, researchers believe only 25 to 50,000 Americans have it. With the first fracture, we were not completely surprised to see a fracture. But it was still, it's still kind of a shock to, you know, see a one-year-old and have them laying in the little crib with the cast on her. You don't like to see your child suffer, you know. It's hard to, you know, when she was going through all of the um, fractures when she was little, she had a, um, you know, fracture every eight weeks between the years, ages, you know, one and three basically. So you'd spend one month in a cast, then you'd have a month out of it, and then she'd fracture again. And, and that's just tough. The symptoms of OI often are similar to child abuse. When Kari was little, she often had to go to the emergency room, where John and Mary were often questioned. We were not worried. You know, we'd been to the doctor and to the ER enough times that we're kind of going, hey, here's something that every kid has. The nurse came in and started Questions, you know, what happened? Well, she walked into a door frame and you know, she got this little cut on her forehead. And she was like, oh, she's doing this a lot lately, isn't she? Oh, no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is the story. And, you know, then things calmed down. But her parents say all those challenges make her one strong teenager. Throughout the early years of breaking bones, Kari also had another significant challenge. OI also affected the corneas in her eye. They were so thin, ophthalmologists couldn't measure them. Unfortunately, a year or so after we were warned about this, she did have an incident where she got poked in her left eye and perforated her cornea. And uh, as a result, uh, her, the vision in that eye is uh, extremely poor. Despite having only one good eye, the high school senior makes the best of it. On va faire les groupes en premier et puis on va réviser. She purposely always sits at the front left in class to make sure she can always see what the teacher is saying and doing. She loves to learn and is in the school's international baccalaureate program. You may notice while learning French, she's eating her lunch at the same time. I um, wanted to take too many classes this year that it didn't fit to have a lunch. So the compromise was that I got to eat lunch in my French class. Kari also loves being in band and particularly enjoys playing percussion instruments. Because of her thin corneas, the 17-year-old had to play an instrument that wouldn't put pressure on her eyes. It's been great. You know, it's great. I like playing it a lot. <laughs> I'm glad I chose percussion. And so is her band teacher, Mary James. James has known Kari since she was in the sixth grade and selected the stellar student to be the marching band's drum major. The Cooper High School band director is always amazed at how determined Kari is to be just like everyone else, even when she's in a wheelchair after a break. Sometimes she has to go outside to come back inside to get to her instruments. And we've had to find ways for her to be able to sit in the percussion so that she doesn't put weight on her her leg or, you know, the broken bone. But more than that, she just, she knows her limitations and she advocates for herself a lot, so, which is great. I guess a question that people want to know is, are you in pain ever? Oh well, yeah, I mean, it hurts whenever you, anybody breaks an inch like anything else, but I kind of, I don't know, I just get over it. You know, it hurts for a little while, but then you stop moving when something's injured and you can tell, and then, you know, you go get a cast or sometimes you take a little bit of medicine to help it out. But, just deal with it. <laughs> and Kari always does. She's always making sure she doesn't use her illness to her advantage. I don't like to do that at all. I would not do that, you know. 
for example, like I have a handicap pass um, for the winter months in case it's icy, but I refuse to use it unless I absolutely have to. <laughs> the way I see it is that I don't need you know changes to how I do things very often. Um, when I do, I will utilize them, but when I when I don't, I. I don't feel that that's appropriate to do. Teachers say there's no question Kari makes everyone proud, including her bandmates. When they found out when you were going to come in to class today, uh, I heard a couple of students say, do play really well so that we can represent her really well. And they just have that pride with her. They, they want her to be successful. They look up to her. There's pretty much nothing that can stop her. Uh, she has not let it get in the way of things she wants to do. She's always been a really, really positive and upbeat kid, which, interestingly enough, tends to be a characteristic of kids with OI. They're, by and large, uh, very positive uh, and happy kids. While Kari believes her parents are the reason why she lives life to the fullest and loves to learn, she also believes her success is due to wonderful teachers and supportive friends. I'm just super grateful for all of them um, and how they've been, you know, all my teachers have been super willing to send me an email of the notes if I, you know, broke my arm and can't write or, you know, let me sit in the front of the class or sit at the computer to write down notes and just all my friends and family that have been so supportive and helpful. You know, one of my friends pushing me around to all my classes when I'm in a wheelchair. It's just, it's so amazing how wonderful they all are. Life to the Max is brought to you by Life Touch, photography for a lifetime.